Nuendo 14 has arrived. Let's explore all the new features. So we have a brand new Nuendo 14. You can look at it. It's beautiful. It comes with a whole lot of changes, a whole lot of uh, new features that we're going to explore today. And with further videos, we are going to, in further videos, we are going to make a uh, in-depth tutorial so that we can really get into it with every new tool. But for now, let's make a review of everything that comes new and let's begin. So we have um, the new adaptive background attenuation that it basically creates automation for our uh, voiceovers and tracks uh, automatically for the whole project. So I have this video. Master the basics first, pushing, turning, stopping. I have music, effects, dialogue. Train, train like an athlete, build strength. Improve. And you can hear in this part that the dialogue and everything is being... Um, covered by the sound Master effects the and music. First, pushing, turning, stopping. Then so all we have to do to fix it is go to project, adaptive background, choose our tracks, choose our levels, and press apply volume automation to the range that we have selected. And in a few seconds, what I'm going to get is an automation track for all these groups that moves and, and it's set, uh, um, it's already fixed, as you can see. Let me amplify it with uh, automation on that sense that, as you can see, I can tweak and I can uh, change. So let's hear it. Master the basics first, pushing, turning, stopping. Then train like an athlete, build strength, improve flexibility, and practice relentlessly. s -kid boarding is about resilience. You will fall a lot, but every fall is a lesson. And I can tweak it to my taste just in one click. And this also works with uh, MPEG-H audio projects where he will consider both the different dialogue tracks that we may have and the differences, uh, the spaces will be different accordingly to each different uh, voiceover. And this we will cover in our in-depth tutorial about uh, adaptive background attenuation. Dialogue transcription that is AI working for us in the right way. So all we have to do is select our um, dialogue uh, here, go to project, then we will find dialogue transcription. We set up our settings, we click start transcription. And done. There it is. Now I have everything transcribed. Every great skater starts with balance, control, and confidence all tracks ready for us to do ADR as we want it. And we will cover this in our videos, but this is simply awesome AI working for us. Next one. And that brings me to uh, the new ADR improvements that are simply awesome. As you can see, I can show here. Uh, let me put this in uh, ADR dialog for you to see it. Okay, there you have it. This is the, the transcription that we just did. And what I can do now is change the size of the font. I can tweak it and put it as I like it. I can change the color. I can change the color. Let's put a green like that. I can change the background. Um, over here. Put it over here and make it, make it dark, a little darker. And there you go. And I can change the transparency of that. And I want to bring this because this is something that I really f um, think is awesome for Foley because we can now have a secondary uh, overlay. So my main overlay now is the dialogue, but for Foley, I don't need that. I will change it for uh, prop type, for example. And there you go. And let me show you. 
Now we have what's the prop in here, and I can choose the character on top. As you can see, we can put it in the center or the, the left side of the of the of the screen, and then can see now all the skateboards or for James. Okay, so this is super awesome also for uh, um, m multiple languages. So you're, you're doing uh, dubbing or um, ADR in different uh, languages, and you can have one on top and one on the bottom or things like that. So you can basically have a whole new uh, and revamped ADR taker with these new tools that are simply awesome. And as I said, for Foley, this is simply amazing. Let's keep going. And we also get amazing new uh, editing tools. Let me show you the first one, which is amazing. Let me bring this uh, screen closer for you to check it out. And with uh, this range uh, tool, uh, you we can do with doing hover over uh, an audio with my modifier key, in my case is two, I can change segments of my audio. And as you can see, I can tweak just by doing hover and scroll on the mouse. And this is super fast and super amazing for this task. And another thing that I can do and it's another improvement is go to my pencil tool that now we can do uh, edit this line so in depth. We can create curves like this and do anything that we want, move them, and we can uh, even select all these points. And as you can see, the range is getting selected and now I can do tilting, I can do compression, level, again, more tilting, and do everything that I want and need. And everything that I just did is independent from my clip level. For, so the gain, the volume of my, of my event is still is totally independent from this. And this is not automation. This is within the clip. So it's super useful and super fast. And these tools are simply amazing. We have a huge improvement in the CESB import, and I'm gonna import this uh, asset list from video game that has no time code or no uh, m m uh, time markings. So in this case, what will happen if in the uh, in our last version all markers would have been at the same spot? But now we can change that because we can now generate custom time code and we can set that every. Um, marker that I have is uh, three seconds long, and uh, and they are going to be spaced by ten seconds. I have all my uh, categories in here, and let me just say okay and generate that track. And as you can see now, I have every asset uh, that I had right here. Let me make this my track so that I can navigate quickly. And as you can see, I have all my tracks. Everything is spaced in set, ready for me to sound design all this sound, all these bits of audio. So this is super, super useful to get notes and several things that we, you, you know, that maybe we get without time at the beginning. We also have new plugins. Let's check them out. Okay, this is Shimmer. Let's hear it. This is a studio delay, a new delay. This is a great plugin, Auto Filter. Let's hear it.
This is underwater. Okay, this uh, new plug-in volume, uh, what it allows us to do like is change the volume of this uh, flexibility uh, track practice. now that we have it in here inserted and, and without changing our fader over here. So we can do this and we can create automation on it. So this is super useful tool. Okay, this is a super amazing tool. Uh, this is called modulators, and all I have to do is select one type of modulator that I want. In this case, I will choose an LFO, and all I have to do is assign uh, this uh, uh, oscillator to a parameter. In this case, I will add it to the pitch, and I can control it over here. I can see how much change do I want. I chose this one, so that it can be very, very, very noticeable. And I can add another in sync to that one. Let's move to the mix. And I can change at an, another type. This is a, an envelope shaper. We can create our own envelopes, as you can see. But we can use, this, for example, this one. And we can add it to, for example, the reverb. And now I can control everything in here. And I can tweak it make it slower, for example. And this works with basically everything within Nuendo, um, every plugin, whatever, volume, panning, I mean, the works. And <clears throat> it's super, super amazing. You can even create macros and stuff like that. So this is the best tool to add freedom to our mixes. Another great um, fix that we have in this case for the direct offline processing is that we have the these regions with both, they both have the same plugin, but if I do the audition, they will um, sound as, the, as they are in volume. This one is very low. And this one it's not just is louder. What you do. It's how you do it. it's not and this is something that I really wanted it to happen because it was very uh, annoying to have all working come at the same level. We, we didn't have the real perspective of it, but it, now we have it, and this is super awesome. Okay, another great feature that we have in MediaBase that now we can preview and change pitch and drag that. So I want this lower. I can just drag this here. If I want it just high pitched, and I can just, I mean, let's say I wanted it like this, more dramatic, and if I wanted it to put it in here, I select it over here and drag it to my session. I success and land. Tr With the warp uh, and the 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 pitch change that we did. This is another useful tool we have now, as you can see, our uh, auto saves in here and all the backup files are here and in the images and everything and the audio files is all very organized and very clean. So this is a huge, huge uh, improvement too. So these are some of the new uh, features for music that are super awesome. The, this is our uh, drum track, and we can just create our own drums over here, and we can use uh, the new patterns tools with this one, so we can create patterns. Just randomize so you can hear the changes.
super cool tool. Another one that we have, let me close over here, is the fact that we can use um, the new um, in, in, in scoring tool is based in Dorico, and this is super awesome because not only it works perfectly, and you can see it's super beautiful, the, the best I've seen on a doll, and we can actually share and export this directly to a Dorico project. So we can create this, we click this, and we create a Dorico project that we can then edit directly in there to finalize uh, all the details of this score. And another thing that we can do with MIDI that is super cool is the fact that we can select, for example, this range of notes and I can do um, probability playback. And then if I reduce this in half, let's hear it first. If I reduce it to 50%, it will play half the notes. And since we can select the ones and the rate and the and the percentage of uh, probability that we want, we can tweak it so that we can have a lot of movement in our arrangements, especially if we're using loops or percussion loops, things like that, it will, you know, change dramatically the way it feels. And there are many more features. Uh, I, I can't even tell you about the Game Audio Connect with WISE, what it does. I'm, I, I have that one reserved for a, a very nice pro, uh, video that I want to show you. Uh, we also have supervision changes in the color screens and the meters. Uh, we also have uh, improvements in the Atmos Dolby Atmos renderer. We have um, the new video engine, which supports 4K and 8K and even higher, and it will crop, uh, will rescale it to our to our DAW. Uh, we also have um, DAW project support so that we can use that DAW, DAW project uh, exchanging method so that we can send and receive uh, from another DAWs uh, uh, sessions with all the plugins and things. Uh, that's very useful. I mean, there's uh, too many things to speak about. Um, but I hopefully, hopefully this will cover the main and the most relevant tools for you to get a grasp of what Nuendo is coming with. Nuendo 14, just an amazing tool. Go grab it, go see it, and see you in the next videos where we will go in depth with all these tools in workflows as usual. See you on the next one.